everyone, welcome to Mama from Scratch. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Emily. As you can tell, today I am taking part in the DIY Mommy's DIY Home Decor Challenge, and I love taking part in these challenges. For one, you get so much inspiration from seeing everybody's projects that they have been working on, and then two, you get to meet a lot of new people. So I really enjoy seeing that and meeting new people like you. So if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you would subscribe. At least consider it if you enjoy enjoy DIYs, home decor, and lifestyle videos and hauls. That is what I do on my channel here and I really, really love it. This is my little hobby corner and I absolutely love and to inspire and motivate you guys. So today I am going to be sharing with you how to make that Magnolia Mason Jar Tote with Steel Handle. I love Joanna's style and all of her decor she has and her whole line is just stunning, but a lot of it is a little bit pricey, at least for me. And so that's why I love DIYs because I can always replicate it um, for the most part at a fraction of the cost. This DIY only cost me $5, mainly because I had a lot of the stuff on hand. But don't worry, if you don't have any of the stuff on hand and you have to go out and buy it, it's not going to put you probably over $15. So you could make three extra ones and give them away as gifts for the same price as buying one from her store. So I really hope you guys enjoy this DIY. It was a lot of fun to make and I love doing decor dupes because, like I said, I love being able to have something very similar but yet know that I've made it myself and I've also saved a lot of money. So let's jump in to the DIY part. The supplies you're going to want are a 1 by 5 by 8 foot board cut down into three different sizes and I will leave those linked down below but the board I'm holding right now is 21 inches long. This one is 18 and a half inches long and the two side boards are uh, 5 inches wide by tall. And then you're going to want a piece of um, steel, metal, uh, anything silver basically for the handle, a sanding block, some finished nails or a nail gun, and then you're going to want a flat back nail, and you're going to want a hammer if you don't have a nail gun, two different types of stain, I'm using a um, classic gray and Jacobson, a mixing cup, a rag and some protective gloves, and then some black spray paint or black acrylic paint, chalk paint, whatever you would like to use for this. And like I said, everything will be down in the description box. You're going to start by sanding all of your pieces of wood. It opens up the grain and also allows for a nice smooth edge. Make sure you do all sides here. Once you have that done, go ahead and spray uh, your metal handle piece. Then go ahead and take your mixing cup and I'm going to mix these two stains, equal parts of the classic gray and then the Jacobson color. If you don't have this color, you can always use dark walnut, but the gray gives it a little bit more of a burnt feel. And always test it on a piece of wood first to make sure you have the color that you ha want desired. And then go ahead and just start rubbing that on to your wood in the direction of the wood grain. And make sure that you don't uh, leave on any excess, let it absorb and then wipe it off and do this to all of the boards. Once the boards are dry, you're going to basically take it apart and this is what it's going to look like. This is where the fun part begins of us building it. You can use a nail gun uh, or just using your finished nails. Make sure everything is flush along the bottom and the side edges. Once you have that, you can go ahead and do the other side. And um, if you don't have a nail gun, it's fine. You're going to want to use nails about an inch and a half, finished nails anyways, that are an inch and a half long. And just go ahead and nail it all together. A nail gun just makes it a little bit easier. Now for the sides, you're going to want a little bit of an overlap. That's why these boards are the 21 inch boards. And it just gives uh, a better look to it. And I'm having about a half to one inch excess on each side and then flip it up and just make sure the top and the bottom are flush. They should be because it's all from the same board. It's super simple. It's basically just piecing the little puzzle back together and uh, securing it. Again, double check your measurements on each side, that way you don't have anything that's not symmetrical. 
and just go ahead and add those nails all the way down making sure you're adding the nails on any parts that are touching and your piece of wood is done next comes um, this is where I'm using the one inch finish nails and these have like a flat back on them and you're basically going to um, put your handle in the center and then um, start hammering that in and that's going to hold our handle in and once whatever you measure from the bottom it's your discretion I didn't mind an inch and a half from the bottom do that on the exact same side and get both sides in before you add your second nail on each side it's super easy this is how it came out I absolutely love it I think it is really really nice obviously you can use this outside you can even use it to serve drinks like lemonade in the summertime or whatnot but you can also transfer it inside your home and it's still a beautiful stunning piece thank you guys so much for watching and as always I hope you have a beautiful blessed day be sure to check out the playlist for all the other people that are involved in this collaboration and I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching bye